Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about integration. So now I will show you how to answer. Number two and number two, we can do about factorization. So the square root of number two, I will put outside. Next, we have the formula in here. Side 2a equals to 2 side a cos a. And number 1 equals to side a square plus cos a square. So, in this situation, sin x, that is about number 2 and s over 2. So, capital A, that is about s over 2. So, this one, we have 2 sin of s over 2, cos of s over 2. Number 1, we change by this one. Next, we have a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to a plus b to the power of 2. So, we need to turn from this one into this one. So now we need to simplify the square root and the power true in here. Next, we have the formula in here. The square root of capital A to the power of true equals to this, the absolute value of capital A. So we need to change this one into this one. Next, because we are inside the absolute value in here, now we need to consider about this function. So, in here, we have this function. Now, we put this one equals to number zero. So, that means this one equals to number zero in here. So I will put this one go to the right and we have side of s over 2 equals to negative cosine of s over 2. So I will put negative go to the left. So we have the formula in here. Negative side of capital A equals to side of negative A. 
the next one cosine a equals to sine of b over 2 minus a in here so now we need to change this one into this one so we have sine of negative s over 2 and this one we change by sine of b over 2 minus s over 2 so in this situation we have the formula in here capital A equals to B plus K to B and K belongs to integers and we have the second one A equals to B minus B plus K to B now a that is about negative s over 2 b that is about b over 2 minus s over 2 so we have negative s over 2 equals to b over 2 minus s over 2 plus k to b and the second one negative s over 2 equals to b minus b over 2 plus s over 2 plus k to b so this one and this one they can solve so that means no solutions now we just put this one go to the left and we have uh, sorry s over 2 go to the left and this one we have negative s b minus b over 2 so we have about b over 2 So this one we have s equals to negative b over 2. Now we have the integration from 0 to 2b and now we need to put s between this one. So we can find the value of k in here. Next, we divide both sides by B. Next, I will put negative 1 over 2 on the left and on the right. So we have 1 over 2 in here and 2K in here. Number 2 plus 1 over 2, we have 5 over 2. Next, we need to divide both sides by number 2. And we have 1 over 4. Okay, and 5 over 4 in here. Because K should be about integers. That means k equals to number one so we just have only one value in here and we can find the value of s belongs to this one so we put k equals to number one cone here 
and we have negative b over 2 plus 2b and this one we have 3b over 2 now we need to draw the table so we have this table in here from 0 to 2b and this one we have 3b over 2 and this one is about the solution of the function so we have number 0 in here now let's say I will put about s equal to b belong to 3b over 2 and number 0 to this function in here and you got about f of b equals to the square root of number 2 the square root of number 2 that is about positive number so the side of this one should be about the positive in here now let's put the number between 3b over 2 and 2b so i will select about s equals to 7 over number 4 b so i will put about f of 7 over 4 b go to this function so we have negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 is smaller than number 0 that means this one should be about negative so after we analyze this one we can put the table in here So we can see that from 0 to 3b over 2, we have positive. From 3b over 2 to 2b, we have negative. So when we cancel the absolute value in here, we need to create about two interactions. We have the interaction from 0 to 3b over 2, and we have side of s over 2 plus cosine of s over 2 and the second one because this one you got negative so we need to put the negative side in here that means negative with negative you got about positive because we inside the absolute value so everything in here should be about positive. And now we can find the we can find the final answer in here. The interaction of side of S over 2. We have negative number 2 cosine of S over 2. The next one is about number 2 side of S over 2. And we put the bounds from 0 to b over 2 minus this one so this one is similar 
and we put the bounds from 3b over 2 to 2b in here and now we put this one go in here number 0 go in here similar for the second one And the second interaction in here. So about th this one, we have number 2 with the square root of number 2 plus 4 and the second one that should be about number 2 with the square root of number 2 minus number 4. So if we simplify, we have number 8. Number 8, that is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.